Hi friends, welcome to my channel Ask to Shamik. So in this video we will discuss about the microservice communications. So uh, in my previous video I, I talked about the Eureka server. Now in this video I will talk about that how two microservices are communicate with each other. So as I said in the presentations that the, we will create two microservices. One will be our employee microservices which will returns the list of employees and I will create another microservices called dashboard service and which actually uh, it's this employee service and get the employee list and show it in a dashboard. So let's start uh, how we can um, create the different microservices how one microservices communicate with others. So as I said uh, the first thing is you need to go to the starts.spring.io and you need to create a project for that say I create in that way employee service now as this 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 should be a microservice which act as an Eureka client so I will choose that Eureka discovery here and if I hit the generate project it will create a, a one microservices called employee service so another microservice I need to create that is employee dashboard service also that will be act as an uh, Eureka client that's why it also choose that uh, Eureka discovery and if I hit projects it will create a Eureka employee dashboard service template now upon uh, downloading these two templates what I need to do I need to import them into my STS so as already I have imported those things so I am not repeating that step but uh, this is the steps to start on now I am focusing on how to build that microservices okay so first as I said I need to create that employee search service so let's put uh, attention on employee search service so here is my employee search service class so if I directly go to the pom.xml so here I can see <coughs> it will act as an Eureka client cloud starter Eureka so it will act as an Eureka client and the name of the service will be employee search service okay so nothing fancy about it so now if I go to the resources and the properties file bootstrap properties files so here I give this service as a logical name which call the employee search so why I am giving this log logical name so uh, just for a quick recap in Eureka server uh, every microservice has its own logical name and all the instances are kept against that particular logical name so when one microservice wants to find the instances of other uh, microservices what they need to know they need to know this logical name so by this logic logical name they got the all the instances from Eureka server choose the instance and call other microservices that's why it is important to provide the logical name into the each microservices so here I put that all logical name as an employee search now I am giving another property called spring cloud config URI this is my config servers URI I haven't talked about the config server yet but uh, just for a uh, one-liner config servers is something where we maintain all the services properties and that properties will be can be version controlled and can be fetched from that config server. Config server itself is a microservice. So I will create a separate video on the config server, but right now, uh, just I am skipping that part. So the third is that Eureka client service URL default zone, uh, where I put that Eureka servers uh, URL. So it is needed to locate that where is my Eureka server is and what is the default if if they are um, zone of the Eureka servers so it will try to search in that URL for the Eureka server and then 
fetch the other microservices uh, informations when you would like to communicate with that other microservices. Now, giving the server dot port is equal to eighty eighty, is it means that my application will be run on eighty eighty port. Now, for the security and management, I make this as a false. I don't want to be my microservice as a secure microservices because this is just an uh, example. So, if you need to some security purpose, you put that particular security control in your microservices. So, that would be a separate session. I will talk about it later. Okay. So, this is the basic properties files here. Now, uh, let's see what I am doing here. So, here I have I I have written one employee search controller. So if you look at that employee search com controller, it actually outward employee search service Spring Bean. So and it's mapping such URL employee find ID. If I <coughs> if someone hits that URL, it's actually internally find an ID where the ID provide in that URL. Okay. And there is one other URL is employee find all. So if I put that find all, what it's done is that it's invoke that services find all methods and returns all the employees from database. So let's see how we implement that employee search service then. So this is an uh, service, just is a spring bean, and I annotated is at, at the service comp uh, at the service annotations of spring. So it can be treated as a service now the main part is that i written a static block instead of i creating a database i create a map of employees where employee id would be a treat as a key and that employee object is treat as a value so and i called it as an employee repository in static block i am populating it using the java 8 stream api so what i am doing that stream of some employees and that employee has his employee name, employee IDs, employees uh, jobs descriptions. So in that way, what I am doing is that I map that stream to a particular employee stream. Then I split that stream into comma separated way because that whole one string contains these values and they are separated with commas. Now I create a create employee methods. In create employee methods, I took all the data and set it. And then I mapped uh, uh, using the collectors uh, dot to map function in Java. A. And what I do is that I create a map where key is the employee ID and that employee object itself. So it will give me an employee repository of uh, the employee uh, employees where the employee ID would be the key of each employees. Now I written, uh, I have written two methods, find by ID, where by this, uh, if anyone pass any ID from UI, I try to search in the employee repositories and return that ID. And if that ID is not there, it will return a null. So now, if I create the find alls, what I do, I just simply return the collections. Then, okay, so this is the basic implementations. And in the employee search means spring main file, I put a <coughs> annotation called enable discovery client. So these applications can be marked as, as an Eureka, uh, Eureka client. So when I up my Eureka server, then when I start my employee search service, it will uh, create a request to Eureka server to register itself. So Eureka will register itself against the name employee search, employee search and create and store register this instance. This is all about the employee search service. Now pay attention to the employee dashboard service. In employee dashboard service, what I do is that I create an employee info con uh, con controller and in this controller, so what I do is that I auto add the Eureka client and I auto add that rest template. So why rest template? That rest template is for calling that other microservices. And why are you using the Eureka client? So Eureka client is that 
from Eureka server, it will give me all the instances of employee services and then I will pick one instances from that employee server and call that particular microservice, uh, that particular microservice. Now here, uh, there is a tricky path, uh, I call service.employeeservice.service ID. Actually, what I am doing here is that I resolute a property from my config server. So what this property is, this is the logical name of that employee search services. What I did is that I try to resolute this service employee search service search property from my config server. Here is my config server, microservice config server where uh, there is a path in native search location so e means in c microservice central properties i uh, create a one properties file from where it speaks that value so let's see that properties so it is that employee dashboard properties if i open the dashboard properties so you can see that some uh, service employee service service id is equal to employee search means it will be the same employee search which I have written here in employee service logical name. This is the employee service, its logical name, this. Okay, so now coming to that uh, employee info controller again. So now I create one method called dashboard.myself. What it, it is doing, it's fetch that Eureka client.get application and pass this logical name. So once I pass this logical name, so this application object returns me the instances of all the employee search services. Right now, I have run one instances, that's why it's give me a one instances list from where if i do the get zero it i get that inst inst instance information object from this instance information object i got that ip address i got that port i build my url employee find dot myself and then i using the rest template i call my object and uh, in the response i print that employee sub uh, that employee object so if someone hits that slash dashboard slash myself means that pass that some long id it will return the employee informations for us and there is another uh, methods i written here that is the dashboard service dot peers so it will do the same rather than it's clawing calling that individual things what it called its get object for url and collection class it's returns that all list of ids all list of employee objects and it's return to me so let's see that employee dashboard service main class here i enable that enable discovery client here i am not talking about that other annotations right now we'll describe it in a later uh, videos so right now I just only focus on the enable discovery client and if I run that application so you can see that I can uh, easily call another microservices and fetch the results and one more thing is that here I uh, register my rest, rest template as an bean and from the rest template builder I build my rest template object which needs to be auto aired in employee info controller. So let's uh, see its bootstrap.properties file. It's same as uh, that previous employee search. It has its own, uh, own application name. It's point to uh, that config server URI. It's pointing to the e Eureka server. It's published on 8081 port. And for the security and management, I kept it false. So if I call, HTTP colon localhost 80881 and then dashboard.prs I can see all the employee information here because in peers it's internally called the employee search service and it's fetch that list of employee info and then it returns that then it will print that information so let's see so if I do this
there I can see that all the employee informations are come which I have created in the employee search services search services uh, static method here this three so now if I want to check my Eureka server I can see that my two applications are registered one is employee dashboard service one is employee search service and these are the status which are up and this is the where it's running employee dashboard service 8080 employee search 8089 look that this is not a particular http localhost type url it is your logical name colon that port so that microservice in eureka register that is your logical name under port and your port number so when you pass that logical name it's internally find out the uh, instances put that urls and return back that things to you so here are all the memory rating informations and it is the instance in uh, where uh, this eureka server runs its ip address so i hope you can understand uh, how to communicate with one microservice to another microservice so uh, just for a quick recap it needs two parts you need to create one microservice it needs to register with a eureka server you need to create another microservice which also be a power, need to be registered in eureka server then caller microservice i it's calling microservice a uh, logical id and it's query to eureka server to get the all instances it will fetch the all instances and build the url using the rest template and call that particular uh, microservice to get the results so this is all about the microservice communications which is very easy so in my uh, later video i will show you how it can be done through more sophisticated way rather than using the rest template so till now uh, if you like this video go and subscribe to Aksh to Shomik and hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I am creating a video thanks thanks very much to you